I'm Suzanne Levy, the librarian in the Virginia Room at the City of Fairfax Regional Library. The Virginia Room serves as the repository for materials on local history, genealogy, and Virginia government information for the Fairfax County Library System. Welcome to the Virginia Room. In these stacks in this area, you'll find all kinds of materials on Virginia and Fairfax County history. We have histories of local communities, we have historical society yearbooks, and we have an in-depth collection on the Civil War, primarily from the Southern point of view. The materials are arranged in the Dewey Decimal System. You can access all the materials by using the library catalog. And we also have a number of historical periodicals that are displayed on the shelves to my right. Now we're in the area where the majority of the genealogical materials are. We have some really exciting things in our collection, in particular a series of books on the families of Fairfax County in 1860. I happen to be open to the page talking about the Keene family. People who wonder about the origins of Keene Mill Road might want to study the origins of the Keene family. Uh, other similar things we would have in the way of county records would be things like the Fairfax County Death Register. We have these kind of materials for the majority of the counties in Virginia and West Virginia. We also collect materials on such topics as DNA and family history. We've recently received a copy of Finding Oprah's Roots. If any of you saw the story on PBS of black genealogy, this book will lead you to more information. We also collect materials on British genealogy and German genealogy, as well as how to, what we call how-to books on various countries around the world. The books are shelved in alphabetical order by Virginia County under the genealogy number. And we have, again, records on many states that Virginians came directly from and went directly to. We have a large map collection, which includes primarily maps of Fairfax County, but there are some statewide and regional maps as well, as well as maps of the Shenandoah Valley and the maps from the U.S. Geological Survey of the various quadrangles in Virginia. Those are fully cataloged and you can access them through the library's catalog where you'll be given the call number to look for them in the map cases. The new building features a gallery so that we can display some of the special materials in the Virginia room. At this point we have a display of Fairfax County maps showing the development of the county over 300 years or 250 years or so. These maps are framed and on the wall in the gallery area. On your first visit to the Virginia Room, we would encourage you to come to the information desk on the south side of the room. Staff there will be happy to answer your questions and explain how the room is arranged and point you in the right direction to find what you are looking for. The Virginia Room's website will link you to special features such as the Fairfax County Historical Newspaper Index. It's an index to local newspapers from the mid-1880s through 1973 and is accessible online along with various databases including genealogy databases. We have a rare book room that houses special books that are either really old hard to replace, or just pristine copies of books on Fairfax County that we can use for display purposes at later dates. Besides rare books, you'll find in the rare book room manuscripts relating to Fairfax County history, events, and families. We have such things as premium books from early, 19, early 20th century Fairfax County fairs. We have a large photographic archive, which includes black and white and color prints, negatives, slides, and postcards, all again of scenes in Fairfax County or of Fairfax County people, groups, and events. 
The Dan Netherton Conference Room is a beautiful room set up for 10 researchers to meet and discuss topics of interest. It can be booked through the library's meeting room booking service, but it was named in honor of Nan Netherton, a local historian who enjoyed meeting people in the Virginia Room and sharing her knowledge with other researchers. The library features wireless internet access for all who come into the library. The tables and furnishings in the new building allow for researchers to plug their laptop computers into the bases of the lamps on the study tables and directly access the internet. The Virginia Room is open seven days a week and we would encourage you to come in, call us, and visit the Virginia Room. We are happy to share our information with all researchers. We answer telephone requests, email requests, and we especially enjoy working with patrons who come into the library.